Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I just got out of the shower. I started today getting back into my exercise routine. So this is day one. As I've shared before, my summer was a little bit different than expected. And one thing that sort of fell off for me was a consistent morning exercise routine, which I've shared in the past is really important, not only for my physical health, but also for my mental health. So today was day one. It was not easy, but I took it easy on myself. I just fast walked a mile on the treadmill and I was sweating at the end of that. Now I'm getting ready to have a little breakfast snack. Today's video is a what I eat in a day video. I'm going to keep it really real with you all. So first thing in the mornings when I wake up, I like to have tea and toast in bed. I have a Earl Grey tea with a little bit of steamed milk on top. And then I always like to have a piece of toast. So I forgot to take a clip of my toast today, but I will show you which bread I am using this week. So I'm running a little bit low. This is leftover from last week. I need to go grab a new loaf. But the bread that I eat is from a company called When Pigs Fly. It is a local East Coast company. This week I'm eating, it's like a banana nut bread, and that's usually around 7 a.m. or so. Now it is about 9 a.m. I'm hungry after exercising. I always like to put some protein on my stomach in the morning. I usually make up an omelet or something like that. This week's a little different because it's Sam's first week at work and so we're kind of trying to get back into the swing of this more structured schedule. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do today. Today I'm making one of these babies. Um, we picked these up from Costco. It's veggies made great spinach egg white frittatas. I'm assuming they're gonna be somewhat similar to the ones from um, Starbucks. So I'm going to do one of these. The serving size is one. So I'm gonna have one of these and then I'm trying to decide, maybe I'll have a little bit of fruit with it. I'd like to put it over some greens, but I'm gonna have a salad for lunch. So we will see, but I'm going to make that now. I'm going to eat this and then throw myself together and sit down at the computer and get started for the day. for I don't know at least an hour but probably closer to like an hour and a half one thing I've realized in working with others generally but also in working with undergraduate RAs is that things end up going a lot better the more detailed that I am about a task that I'm asking them to do I'm going to draft written notes in whatever file it is that I am going to have them work with. So right now I'm referring to RAs that aren't running participants in lab, RAs that are working on more remote computer tasks. So that's what I have been working on over the past hour is kind of fixing some stimulus file stuff and then drafting some detailed notes about what it is that I expect for the task. Assuming I'll have these notes drafted, I'll probably ask them to review them before the meeting, re-emphasize them during the meeting, and then they will have access to them after the meeting, of course, to refer to again. I have a feeling that it will help things run more smoothly and hopefully there will be less mistakes made during the tasks because when you're dealing with stimuli and stuff like that, it can just be very stressful for everyone involved when there are mistakes that are made with the stimuli. So anyway, let's do some heelless curls now. I needed some time, like a little break away from the computer anyway. This is the string or whatever you want to call it. I'm sorry, my brain. This is the thing from the robe, and I am going to show you how I do it. So I have this, and then I just have two scrunchies. I'm gonna start on the right side. My hair is like 75% of the way dry, maybe a little bit more, because I was trying to finish the task I was working on before doing this. And then as I'm wrapping, I'm just gonna grab some more hair and then continue to wrap that around. Ugh, I just realized I've had this fan on the whole time. Hopefully you can hear me. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, 
night. It is about 11.30 and I just remembered that I have a workshop that I'm attending today at noon. Basically, the day is slipping by already. So I'm gonna do some really quick, like five minute makeup. So I'm just starting with my trusted Dermatology Universal Tinted Moisturizer in SPF 46. I've spoken about that in the past. Absolutely love that product. And then before I forget, I'm gonna throw on some of this Nourish Under Eye Treatment. This is from Sally Ander. My aunt actually gave me this when I visited her recently. I really like this because along with its name, it just feels really nourishing. I'm coming in with my also very loved and trusted Charlotte Tilbury. Um, I think it's called the Magic Corrector. This really helps with those under eye circles, which I absolutely have. So just a little bit of that. Next, I'm going in with another Charlotte Tilbury corrector. She does great stuff for the under eye area. This is the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. Did I say this was another corrector? I meant another product. So just a little bit of this under the eyes. That's a little thicker than I like it, but I'm moving quickly here. And then I'm just gonna let that sit for a moment while I use some of this NYX Fill in Bluff or NYX, however you like to say it. And I am just going to take this through the brows. Now I'm just gonna take my finger. So, first I'm gonna go in with this. This is the number seven. I get this from Target. Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in White. And then I'm going to go in with the Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in 20 Neutral Beige. And then I just remembered I have this little blemish here. So I'm just going to use a tiny touch of the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Blemish Concealer. This has a little bit of salicylic acid in it. So just take a tiny bit on my finger, dab it. Since I'm in a hurry, I'm just going to use powders today, so I'm just going in with this Physician's Formula. The Butter Bronzer Light, Light Butter Bronzer 6675. I know they have like tons of options now and it can be really confusing. Lastly, the Physician's Formula Blush in Natural Glow and Mood Boosting Blush. This stuff is great. Whenever I watch these clips back while I'm editing the faces <laughs> that I make while doing makeup, it's too much. NYX or NYX Thick It and Stick It Thickening Brow Mascara and Brunette. Just a little to know you got some. Just a quick eyelash curl, and I don't even think I'm going to wear mascara today. But I just do a little bit of this. This is Christian on Debt Naked Birkins. Collaboration with Lisa Lisa D1. Just under the lash line to add a little bit of depth and to help with creasing under there. And then this is Long Come Ideal Lip Liner. So I do a bit of that. And then um, Melixir Vegan Lip Butter with Agave in shade. Nude crumble. Where is it? Over oh, right here. I still have this Victoria's Secret Bear Rollerball. I feel like I spoke about this in my very first vlog on this channel, potentially. And um, I still love it. Do I want to do these today? These are little hoops from Dean Davidson. I think that's going to be the only jewelry for today. We are back in the kitchen. I'm going to throw together my quick lunch salad. So today I'm making a salad with some chicken, romaine, feta, cucumber, and tomato. So I'll show you what that looks like.
sprinkle a little bit of that over the top. All right, there you have it. This is the finished salad. And I am going to go eat this in front of the computer because I have the workshop in four minutes. Exciting uh, conversation today. We definitely have a lot of folks that, that have, uh, have scheduled to join us. So we'll just give it a, a, another minute or so just to, so people can come on in. All right, just finished the workshop and i'm about to take these out i can tell that they're still a little bit damp but i want to unload and load the dishwasher and stuff like that and i just know this is going to drive me crazy i just remembered about the fan again taking them out a little bit early but you can see we still got some curl and i have naturally wavy hair it can have a little bit of frizz especially with the humid weather so you can see that it's a little bit frizzy, but I kind of just play that up. And these are great for doing like a fun updo also. So there's the finished product. My camera battery just died, so I'm going to go charge my camera. But I am going to make myself some tea right now. The kitchen is clean and I have my tea. I think I'm going to take a bite of a cookie and then I am going to get back to work, see what other progress I can make. These are the best homemade cookies ever. I will link the recipe down below. We make minor modifications. We recently visited my aunt and she had these on her counter in something like this. And I was like, I need to have that in my home at all times. So I eat at least two of these per day. <laughs> They're the best cookies ever. Oh my gosh. All right, I am absolutely exhausted, as you might expect. I worked on some editing and stuff this afternoon, and I can hear my email dinging in the background. <laughs> For me, this is that awful in-between time where you've already had lunch, but dinner isn't coming for a few more hours, and you need a little something. So this is a time where I love to make a quick little smoothie for myself. I'm going to make my cherry berry smoothie. The most important ingredient is this here. It is the Earth Chimp Vegan Protein Shake Mix. I got the plain and unsweetened because I knew that I wanted to put it in smoothies. What I love about this protein powder specifically is that it's a vegan protein blend. It has over a billion probiotics made with real ingredients. The best part is that there's no added sugars. There's no stevia, which is really hard to find in a protein powder. There's also no gluten. So I think that this is a fantastic option if you are in the market for a protein powder. For this smoothie, you are going to need a protein powder, some frozen dark sweet pitted cherries, and then I am going to just take the strawberries out of this mix of frozen fruit, adding a pour of cherries, strawberries, and then I'm just adding a small splash of milk. I'm also going to add some water. So you definitely don't have to use milk. Oh my gosh, how funny. I found the scoop finally. I have been wondering if there's a scoop in this or not, and I finally found it. So here we have it prepared for us, a scoop of our protein powder. So a serving size is actually two scoops. I'm just going to do one because this is just a little snack, but if I wanted it to be a full meal replacement, I would definitely do two. And a great thing about this too is I always like to have like a little bit of cinnamon or something like that in my smoothie, but this already has cinnamon as well as turmeric in the protein powder itself. So that's already done for us. Perfection. 
I am going to take this moment to sit, enjoy my protein smoothie, and just have some peace and quiet. It's about four o'clock if I haven't already mentioned that, and I'm probably going to see if I can get another hour or so of work in today. Sam should be home probably in the next couple of hours, and then we will probably go on a little walk before we come home and have dinner. For dinner tonight, we have leftovers. I cooked last night. I made this really delicious soup that I will link the recipe for in the description box. It's a mini meatball and spaghetti-o pasta soup. So it's mini turkey meatballs with a yummy broth and then spaghetti-o shaped pasta. It just tasted like a warm hug in a bowl, honestly. I remember when I studied holistic health in undergrad, one of the professors from my Eastern medicine course spoke about how when you're a student or a working professional and you get home late in the evening, it's always good to eat a dinner that's really warm for the body because it won't require as much energy to digest at night. And so a soup is a wonderful strategy for that. I think I'm going to end this vlog here. Thanks so much for watching. I have loved connecting with you all and I love reading your comments and hearing your feedback. I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead.